Welcome to Kermode Uncut. If you're a regular here at the blog, you'll know that about a week or so ago, I did a blog saying, look, we should all reassess Adam Sandler because the fact of the matter is Punch Drunk Love is a really good film. You know, is it possible for Punch Drunk Love to make you love Adam Sandler? And I was thinking, incidentally, of a review when Punch Drunk Love first came out by Roger Ebert. And Roger Ebert had loved the film. And he said something, I'm paraphrasing, but he said something on the lines of, you know, after this, Sandler can't go back to making those rubbish comedies, can he? Well, apparently he can. Now, I don't know whether these two things are interconnected, but at exactly the moment that I told you that Adam Sandler really should be reappraised, Adam Sandler laid in and proved that he is just as much of a buffoon as he has always been. You've probably seen the story. He's on set making his new film, The Ridiculous Six, which apparently is a parody of The Magnificent Seven, and a number of Native American actors have walked off the set for what they deem to be the offensive nature of the movie. Now, the complaint of the nine actors involved is that the film is disrespectful to Native American culture, particularly totally disrespectful to the elders and Native women. Their key complaints are that there are two characters. One of them is called Beaver's Breath, the other called No Bra, and they've complained about a scene in which someone is seen smoking a peace pipe whilst urinating at the same time. Now, the film has been made for Netflix, and you'll remember that when Adam Sandler signed on for Netflix, he said it was an absolute no-brainer. Netflix rhymes with wet chicks, and he really did say that out loud. Since the recent fuss about The Ridiculous Six has blown up, Netflix have been keen to point out that the movie has ridiculous in the title for a reason, because it's ridiculous, describing the film as a broad satire intended to send up stereotypes. But at the point of recording this blog, there's been no statement from Sandler's own production company. My own feeling about the matter, after having gone to all that trouble to tell you that Adam Sandler might be all right after all,